Welcome to this week's grocery haul. I had one idea in my mind when I left to go shopping and it was going to be just a quick trip into both Winco and Costco. I didn't have a whole lot on my list and but when I went into Winco I pretty much stayed right on my list, no problem, but Costco was a completely different story. I went in there and found that they had some really, really good deals on meat. And I have a good amount of meat in my freezer, so it's not wasn't urgent. But boy, I have a hard time passing up a good deal when I see it, especially when it comes to meat. So I'm excited to show you what I got this week. Also, at the end of this video, I'll just give you a look at um, what I think or talk to you about what I think um, I'm going to serve this next week on my menu. So stay tuned for that. So this is a look at pretty much what I got at Winco, and it was just kind of a basic haul. I have my two containers of half and half. I got four containers of yogurt. Um, I got cream cheese, and it was 98 cents a box. And we've really been enjoying bagels and cream cheese for breakfast, so I went ahead and grabbed a couple of bags of that. A dozen eggs. Um, I bought some shrimp to go on the barbecue because we're going to have a barbecue tonight. And that just sounded kind of good to go with that. Um, and for fruit, uh, at least at, at Winco, all I got was some apples and a few bananas. Um, I got my oranges, which I'll show you in just a minute at, at Costco. And a bag of romaine lettuce, which has been in the news a lot, but this was packed in a place that did not come up on the list, so I think we should be good. Frozen items from Winco were three containers of ice cream. It's really hard for us to buy ice cream in town because we live so far away that it, it melts too easily. So we always carry an ice chest anyway, but we have to make sure that the Winco stop or the ice cream stop is the last thing we do put it in an ice chest and quickly head home and get it in the freezer. So that's why we end up buying several of them at once because Winco is not necessarily always the last stop. I also bought two packages of store brand tater tots. So my total for Winco was $41.99 which I will round up to $42. And now for my Costco haul. Um, I grabbed a package of, or a container of mixed nuts and my husband's pub mix. Every time I finish, I still have one full one in there, but every time I finish either one of those, I buy another one, so I'm always at least one ahead. Um, their oranges were in, and I'll move that out of the way here. And this is a 13 pound box of oranges, and usually, they're really, really sweet. So I am hoping that that's the case. Um, when we checked out, the, the guy that was packing our, our cart said the same thing. He said that the ones he got were super sweet. So, And more bananas. I try to get them into various stages of green. And so that's why I picked up some at Costco and some at Winco. Um, I got a kale salad this time. This is my second favorite one. If you know, if you watch my other grocery hauls, you know I like the Mediterranean one, but they were out of that. So I guess other people enjoy that one too. So this time I got the sweet kale salad, which is a really, really good salad. I got four pounds of butter. It was a little bit less in price, not horribly, but about a dollar off for a four pound package of it. Um, a package of Himalayan salt potato chips. Okay. okay, and here is where my grocery budget just went way off. They had these three pound packages of Jimmy Dean sausage and they normally sold for $8.49 and you got $2.50 off so that makes them about $6 or $2 a pound. So that's a really good deal. So I went ahead and picked up two of them and I will cut these into one pound packages because that's about all I ever use at one time and put them in the freezer. <clears throat> now this was a, an amazing deal. So this was um, boneless pork loin and 
the price that they had listed was $1.99 a pound. And so this one came to $18.75. It was just under 10 pounds. But the deal was is that you were able to get a... <clears throat> but the deal was is that you're able to get an, um, an extra $8 off the package total. So that brought it down to just $10.75 or just a little bit over a dollar a pound. So I just couldn't pass that up. So I bought two of them, and this one was close to the same price as the one above. And I haven't quite figured exactly if I'm going to do them into pork chops or roasts. I think I'm going to do a combination of both. I'll probably cut them because I do know I have a pork roast planned this week on my menu. So I am going to cut some of them into roasts and some of them into chops. And the next deal that I didn't pass, want to pass up was the um, Beef Loin uh, New York Strip Steaks. I don't know, I think it wants to focus. There we go. And the price on it, as it was, was $8.99, which isn't a bad price. However, when you check out, you got an extra $25 off of this whole package. So that brought my final price down to about six dollars and seventy three cents a pound when I did the math so you know they also were selling um, pot roast or chuck stew meat beef stew meat and that was almost six dollars a pound so I mean for a little bit more I ended up with steak not that I was going to buy that but just as a price comparison so that definitely adding the all these extra meats um, will save me money in the future, but for right now, they ended up definitely getting my my bill up higher than I had anticipated. Okay, last thing that I got from Costco was the sausage, the frozen already cooked sausage patties, and I like those because they make really quick, fast breakfast sandwiches um, in the morning. As you can see, my Costco total came to 173.94, or rounded up to 174. So that, between my Costco and Winco, this grocery haul cost me $200.16. Menu planning for me is pretty simplistic. In fact, I have another video on that. Um, so either coming out or it's already out. I'm actually not sure. <laughs> Depends on when this one gets posted. In any case, um, so this week I have three meals that I have tentatively planned for us. So what I find is that if I plan too many meals, we end up not eating them and if I plan about three with leftovers uh, three to four meals with leftovers that that does great for the two of us uh, for the whole entire week so I have a notebook and on my notebook I have written down what we're eating this week and so I am going to be posting a couple links below to a couple of the recipes and then the other one is going to be just I'm going to figure it out when I get there I'm going to take uh, some of that pork loin that I just showed you and I'm going to make up a dry rub and roast that in the oven or bake it in there, cook it in the oven. And I'm also going to serve that with probably roasted potatoes and butternut squash. And that just sounds like a really good dinner. And we'll add a salad to that. Um, now, the... Um, the second meal, which will I have a recipe link to the bottom. I haven't actually made the recipe yet, so it'll be kind of a new thing for me. But that one is going to be sausage cheese soup. And that sounded really good and a good use for that, at least a pound of that Jimmy Dean sausage. And finally, I am going to be making some honey butter chicken. Again, the recipe is linked below. And serve that with rice. So it should be a pretty simple meal and our simple week of cooking and it will give us leftovers and like I said that should do it for the whole week. Tonight we are going to barbecue um, the ste a couple of steaks and the shrimp that I showed you and I'll probably cook some tater tots to go with that and have the kale salad. So that will also be a really easy dinner. Anyway thanks for watching this week's grocery haul and I will see you next time. Bye bye! <laughs>